Welcome back to Virginia Tice video. We're going to be playing Bra Farming Simulator in Tice video. We're going to be playing on the Brazilian Farmer Series. But so, here in September, um, we just have two fertilizing contracts to do. One on field 20 here, and then one on field 9, which is right over there. And then, um, after that, we're going to skip over to December, because we, um, not for selling pancakes, but to sell our, um, flour. That doesn't go into our pancake production. And then also our um canola. Because those are both their best time to sell is December. But so um I'll do these two fields. Um, um and then I'll meet back up with y'all in December for um delivering our um flour our pancake production then selling off the rest of our flour and um what you call it our canola and then after that um we'll just skip to february and sell off our pancakes and then that will pretty much bring us back to the, end of the year and then next episode we should be getting to planting corn unless there's some contracts in between here and um december or December to February, or some time at between February and um, uh, April, because you can plant corn in April and May, and then you can harvest it in October and November. So it's an extremely short um, what you call it um, time to grow. So actually, that would be pretty good if you're not playing season to use corn, but oats would be even better. That's only two months. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that information, but you can take away with that what you will. But so, um, um, see y'all in December. See ya. Alright, so it's December and I'm going to start out with our canola, because flour takes a long time for the all the pallets to spawn out of the, um, flour mill. Oh wait, this is the wrong spot. Um, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to leave this trailer here. Just because you gotta remember that it's like impossible to get some backup with two trailers. So I'm just gonna leave that there for now. And then I'm gonna take this trailer back over to here where we can pick up our canola out of the silo. But um, in between um, where we were last time, in, in not December, but September, and now, which is December. Um, I did get three fertilizing contracts, which I did all those off camera. So we do have, got a, like, I think about 50 or 60k from them in total. Not a whole lot, but still a pretty good amount of money. So if we back up, I'm gonna center it a bit better. And then we should be good. There we go. Now canola. And this will probably will take us multiple runs to do. But um, I'm going to do a time lapse of me delivering this canola to um, wherever the best buyer is, which we find canola up here. Um, there two seventy one hundred nine. So the um also this is currently the best buyer for um that which is in the new business but so i'll do time lapse of me filling this up and then delivering it down to also but so i'll see y'all after the time lapse
151,999 pallets, which, um, that ain't a whole lot compared to last year's, but it's fine. And then the best place to sell is at mm, McFoozies, which is at, um, the new stores again. So we need to head back over there. And then, um, well, let me just go around this roundabout and then we can look at how much exactly we made from all of that canola. Um, or actually, let me just turn up here. Because then we'll have a nice straight road. But so, if we just do that. There we go. Then, where is. Stop auto saving. Alright, um. Where's property and comb? Where is it? Sold products. I don't think it's in there. Yeah, because I didn't pounce. Harvest income. 644,365. So yeah, we made quite a bit from that, and then we'll soon find out how much we'll make from this. Which will probably be even more than that, but we made a whole lot from that canola. And that even wasn't an insane amount of coal. Which, if we do really want to, we could get the biggest field, like that's near our farm, but I'd say we just save up our money for a farm expansion. So we're getting that. Although we could just field flip it. Because if you don't know, field 5, which is the second biggest field on this map, has canola in it, and canola is just flip it. Alright, let's just get rid of this flower. And then, how much is it? And, um, I did check our pancakes. We don't need any more flour, as you can see. Might need a bit more milk, but other than that, we're fine. But so, 310,655 is a pretty good amount of money. Plus, we also got, uh, like, an extra 20k in total, or probably more like 30, from our environmental score profits but yeah um how much milk do we have in storage just because tempted to sell off some of it just because realistically we don't necessarily don't need as much milk as we have so i would bet there's 157,000. best time to sell is january and then pancakes i think is february because we have no contract, so we can just skip ahead. Um. Where's pancakes? Yeah, February. But, um. In the next episode, because this episode has been pretty long, um. We'll sell off our pancake pallets and then also sell off some milk and refill up our pancake production with milk. So I'll return this trailer back to the farm, and then, well, then I'll be done for this episode. But so, if you have enjoyed, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next one. Bye!